Welcome, established lords and ladies, to 100 games of chess.com. In this catalog of moving pictures, I will be competing in 100 matches of chess on chess.com. This has come highly recommended from the court since my last endeavor on coolmathgames.com. Any members of the gallery whom start unsubscribed may do so now. It is notable and embarrassing if you aren't already. Now that you are subscribed and notable, I will bring you to game number one. Game one really started like any other chess game. We played over the middle. If you don't know anything about chess because your dad left you, that's what you want to do. Anyway, the competition wasn't that steep. This guy must have fat fingered the auto move feature. He gave his queen right to me, like it was easy. I didn't have to do anything. Then he let me kill a few more of his men before resigning. Starting off with a win always feels nice, but this is chess and there's 99 more games. Let's see how I do. My goal in this video was to win more games than I lost. Here game two, let's see if I can keep my streak going. Early game, I was definitely winning. Got my queen all the way to his back wall, but he was able to sneak my rook using the old backdoor knight method. After that, we traded queens, and I'll be honest, I'm not that great if my queen is down. I just don't know what to do. Quickly, my advantage turned to his advantage. Then they killed all all of my pieces, but didn't beat me. Normally, this means a loss, unless you can bait a stalemate. A stalemate is when you're not in check, but also can't move. Basically, your king is stuck. And even though here Black had a queen over me, and most people would say he won, technically, this one was a draw. Game three was also fairly standard, nothing too crazy coming out of either camp. Though I will say, I did spend a little too much time thinking in this game. These are 10 minute games, which means each player has 10 minutes of move time. And if you're distracted or think too long, you can lose the game. This game was almost even until I started running low on time. And when you run low on time, you make mistakes. White had four minutes and I had 20 seconds and White checkmated me. Game four, very early, I lost my queen. He didn't even play well, I was just bad. You see, the knight came into the middle of the board attacking my queen, so I decided to move my queen to another square where it would die. A good chess player definitely could have gone on and won that game, but I am not a good chess player. Morale was in the toilet. I lost by checkmate. On the opposite end though, game five was pure domination. Very early, I got his queen. Why is my camera not focusing? This is bad. Anyway, this one was easy. I didn't even have to trick white to get his queen. He just gave it to me. Took his queen, a knight, a bishop, a rook, then checkmated him. More domination, game six. At this point, I was just hoping for something honorable. It feels like I'm either blowing them out or getting blown out. I think the first couple games in any ranked game are gonna be like that. You're either way higher or way lower than whoever you're playing. Anyway, absolutely wrecked this player within a few minutes. That wasn't hard. Game seven. I'll say game seven was probably the first one that was actually sort of a good battle. And this is definitely where chess is the most fun. You're going back and forth, trading blows, it's like a war. By the middle game, I had definitely gotten back my advantage and I thought I might win, but we won't really know because Black resigned. I'm proud of game eight, I really am, because it shows that chess doesn't always need to be a long drawn out battle. If you're sneaky, you can still win. In this one, we both hadn't really taken many pieces, but my pieces were in a very nice position. I kind of sacrificed my bishop here, but it opened up White's castle, and he didn't seem to care. I don't think he realized how screwed his king really was. Yeah, a few moves later, I got the checkmate, took it right from him. In total, both of us had only taken four pieces. You don't need a bloodbath to win in chess. Game nine was another pretty sneaky one. I had only taken one piece before checkmating this player. Like everything in chess, and life really, it was all White's fault. It's easy to look back at a chess game and see all of the different possibilities and say, well, well yeah, I should have moved there. You're an idiot. But you gotta remember, these games are quick, you're on a timer, and sometimes you make a bad decision. Here White did, and he died. Yeah, no, he died. Check this opening out. It can work on your friends if they're not that good at chess and you can get a checkmate in just a few moves. If you're White, first thing, check your privilege. Oh, got him. No, do the king's pawn like that. Black will probably answer with his own pawn. This one moved the knight pawn, which tells me immediately that they are terrible. Now you'll want to move your bishop to this square. Nerds would call it c4. Now this is a very defendable maneuver by anyone who is decent at the game, but this player is not. He moved his bishop. Set up the kill shot by putting your queen here. Now black has one more chance to stop me, and he didn't. Guess what's coming? Put your queen by the king, it's covered by the bishop, and that's a win. Game 11, I used the exact same opening, and this time I got a perfect checkmate. I'll go over how you do it again. First, you start with that king's pawn. The enemy will likely put out their pawn, and that's when you put out your bishop. Then you go queen to f3 if it's not contested, and if black leaves this lane open, you go in for the kill. It's literally that simple. It's a very nice combo that can get you an easy win and make your friends feel very stupid. Game 12 really hadn't gone too far. I had only taken two pawns before 
before Black resigned. Game 13 was an honorable battle, but you know what? In chess, that's a good one. I made a lot of mistakes in this one. Near the mid-game, I gave him a free knight. There was just no point in doing any of this. He was all over me. Had very good middle control. And by the late game, his forces started to take over. With his last move, he forced the death of my queen. And then, it was all over. Yeah, then right in game 14, I got my queen snuck from me. I hate that. Just a perfect move by him. His knight put me in check, but also attacked my queen. There was nothing I could do. Not surprisingly, that one I lost, but I'd never resigned. I used the bishop opening again, game 15. This time, the other player did a little bit more defending. However, this time, I tricked him. I had to open up this lane here to win, so I sacrificed my bishop. Black took what looked like an easy kill, and it killed him. Game 16 was going great. I was definitely going to win this one. And then I misclicked my queen and my queen died. I for sure thought I was done for, but for some reason, the other player timed out. Hey, that's online chess. Sometimes they gotta poo. Game 17 was pretty much a stalemate. In the end, it was just a few pieces versus a few pieces. We also both only had a couple of seconds to make our moves. I had no idea how I was gonna checkmate black here, so I just made their king dance until they ran out of time. You know, is that a cheesy win? Sure. But it's a win. Game 18, I was getting hit real hard by White here. He was absolutely dominating my back wall. Meanwhile, I was playing the sneaky game. White was definitely way too caught up in murder to see that I was actually about to checkmate him. Yeah, those always feel nice, getting that dastardly win. Same thing game 19. I played so aggressive. So many of my pieces died, but I pushed my knight all the way to his king and used my queen to get that victory. My man did not die in vain! Game 20 was a tight game. White was playing very well. Nice for me, though, right as he started to take the lead, he left. I don't care what you have to say, that's a win. Game 21 got that perfect, absolutely perfect, four move checkmate with the bishop opening. You may be a chess god who plays the opening, but I play the bishop opening, and sometimes it gets you a checkmate in four moves. Game 22, pretty early on, the other player gave me the queen. I'm honorable, I would stay in play because you can win that, but they left. Oh, 23 was a heartbreaker. I was winning just so hard. Like, victory was imminent. I had taken out pretty much every single one of his pieces. But I left my castled king down there in the open, and that's never a great move. Yep, with a single rook play, they got me. I write notes on these games, so I kind of know what to say. And normally they're pretty intense, a few sentences per game. But all I wrote for game 24 was I got blasted. And that's very accurate. From the very beginning of game 24, I was completely outclassed and lost this one very easily. Game 25 was a solid game for me. I got the advantage early and just kept pressing. They were good, but I was better. No. I took out pretty much every one of their pieces and then checkmated them. Didn't even take that many pieces, game 26, and then they left. I had solid middle control, and I think I took a bishop, but that's about it. You gotta keep playing. I could have made a mistake. You could have won. See, this one I don't remember. It says game 27, I misclicked, but still won. Uh, oh. Oh, that's bad. That should have been a free queen for black, but just moved another pawn. And he did it in a way where I could still checkmate him. That, that was a gift. Game 28, here's a nice lesson for maybe all of you that don't play too much chess. Definitely never bring your king out like this. Now maybe I'm just bad. Maybe I'm just bad and don't know, and this is some grandmaster chess strat. Bringing your king out like this is just gonna get it harassed, and it did here, and I won. Yeah, I talk a lot of trash, but then the very next game, I just let my queen get killed. By the end, I was just a king. I was trying to get a stalemate, but that didn't happen. Same thing, game 30, I just did not see the other player coming. I mean, now that I look at it, it's very obvious. He's definitely gonna checkmate me in a few moves. Who knows, maybe I was distracted. Hello. What even day was I on? Uh... My two-year-old got an ouch at the doctor's. Sometimes I'm just needed. Can't pay attention on chess. Game 31, White was definitely good. I was holding with him in the early game. But by the middle game, my notes say he took care of me. And not in a good way. I made like eight mistakes the whole game. I need to get better. Game 32 was pretty even, going back and forth. Fighting over the middle, you know, the usual. He got near my back wall and I made some interesting plays. And by that I mean bad. I'm looking at it now. Why would I do that? I just put my queen right by his pawn. The pawn be like, hey, hey, I'm gonna give me some of them cheeks! At least game 33 was a nice slow victory. Though it really would have been nice if he let me get the checkmate. I got almost all the way there and then he resigned. Game 34 didn't last long at all. The other player tried to do a little too much work with his queen. And on the escape, they didn't see my knight coming. My notes for game 35 say smashed them. That's fairly accurate. I didn't have too many more pieces. I was gaining control of their king though. I probably would have ended up with a checkmate, but we'll never know because they resigned. Really not sure how I won game 36 because from the very beginning it was not going my way. Part of my issue is I did my bishop's opening 
and the other player defend it. Now normally when that happens, what you want to do is kind of just do something else. Don't try to force that early checkmate. I tried to, and it wasn't good for me. Black here got a lot of my pieces and very solid middle control. I think because of their advantage, they may have been playing a little bit cocky in this situation. They allowed my bishop and queen to live rent-free right by his king, and that's never a good idea. He should have handled that. And while they were going to checkmate me, I checkmated them. Game 37, there were some questionable plays from White, but again, I am watching these games in hindsight. Who knows what's going through your mind in the heat of a chess match. Either way, I was a solid winner the whole time, and it ended in a resignation. Game 38 was very even, an honorable duel. I may have been playing a tad bit aggressive in this one, but sometimes that can be good. Having your rook in the middle like this is definitely offensive, but I was able to use it here to trap his queen. White's queen is being attacked by my rook here, and the queen can't move away or his king will be in check. White takes rook, I take queen, and White's right back in check. After that, the game went a little longer, but of course, they lost. Slow and steady win, game 39. I had taken out most of his pieces before we traded queens. I always like trading a queen if I have more pieces because that puts the obvious advantage in my hands. And by the end, White was just a king. Of course, I won. Game 40, right here, I was one move away from losing. However, I was able to sneak my way out of it by checking his king. Uh... Focus camera, I hate you. Despite being one move away from losing, I was able to turn the tide of this battle, and in the end, won myself. Game 41, they beat me good. That's all I'm gonna say because that's all that needs to be said. And game 42 was another honest loss. They were just better. Another loss, game 43, I was just playing sloppy. Ooh. But finally, game 44, after a whole lot of back and forth, I won. Man, still sloppy game 45, but I came in and got that win. And game 46, I felt lucky to be alive. It was close. I really did not deserve to win, but I still did. Thanks for making mistakes. Game 47, I made more serious blunders than actual moves. So of course, I lost the game. But then game 48, the other player just gave me the game. Easy. Here's your victory, sir. Have a good day. Snuck the queen game 49, and then the other player just resigned. That's fair, I guess. Then I got snuck game 50. No! Got smashed in just a few moves game 51. I was really hoping that wouldn't happen to me in this video, but it did. No, please, don't do it to me. Ah! Game 52 was another honorable battle. And even when you lose these ones, you can go down knowing that you tried. My men fought bravely over the middle, even full well knowing that their leader was incompetent. The queen got me in the back door this time. Nice. Game 53, my notes say that I got wrecked. And after watching the footage, that is exactly what happened. From the very beginning, he just started tearing into me. It was relentless. There was nothing I could do. I was sending my king in the middle just to not die. But that's the thing. You send your king in the middle, you're probably gonna end up dying. The notes for game 54 say that I hate myself for losing this battle. Why? Because very early on, I took an advantage by taking his queen. I misclicked. Just put my queen right by his bishop. I don't know why. I really don't. I am not supposed to lay with women, but today, I will. Thing is, even then, we were still even in the chess department. But he still won. Yeah, I, I definitely, I agree. I hate myself after that one. Game 55 was an absolute battle. We fought over the middle the entire game. I think we were both trying to set up the checkmate, but neither one of us could seriously hold it down. Looking at this game, the other player definitely could have checkmated me if he made the right moves, but that's chess for you. You gotta play right or else you lose. Game 56 was not a great game for me. I played a little too aggressive, and by that I mean a lot too aggressive. I kind of just started throwing my pieces away like they meant nothing. Thing, and when you do that enough, you're gonna lose a lot of your guys, and then you lose the game. In the end, I was a king and a couple of pawns, and white had two queens. You know how this one ends. Game 57 was another honorable duel. This one was gonna come down to the very, very end. We were both kind of there. We both kind of had some way we could maybe set up a checkpoint. It was just depending on who was gonna get it. White then pushed his pawn all the way to my back wall, which contested my king. I couldn't stop it, because the pawn was covered by a rook. He moved his queen in, and I lost. Game 58 was messy. We both were just murdering without even thinking about it. But at least we were killing each other at the exact same rate, so the entire game was even the whole time. In the end, I had a very slight advantage, but we both had very few pieces. I had to employ my king to get the checkmate this time. That's how you know it was a close one. Man, Man get out of my territory. This is for you. you. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get you if I can. My, my rook's coming. You know, You'll be done soon, I, I swear. All You'll be what? done. Yeah, I got some wins in the last few games, but I was definitely feeling kind of sloppy. So game 59, I wanted to focus in and get that win. And I gotta say, I played pretty good. Took middle control and an early advantage. By the end, he was basically just a king, and I got that win. Game 60, the other guy was playing on insta mode the entire time, meaning he was setting up his moves before he saw how I was moving. I'm telling you right now, this might save you some time but it definitely will not save your constituents. He wasn't thinking about any of his moves before he did them. 
He didn't know what I was gonna do. And of course, because of that, I got the easy checkmate. I thought game 61 was going pretty well in my favor, but I did not see this cross map bishop play that ended in my checkmate. I also thought I had white game 62, but my king was out in the open and he used his rook to trap my queen. I used the bishop opening. This one ended up a little bit different, but still got a checkmate in about five moves. Hey, you didn't see that one coming. Oh, yeah, I must be low in the rankings because game 64, I absolutely put the herd on this guy. Game 65, at some point during the game, we traded queens. In the end, I was just a king in some pawns. I can't believe that one slipped away from me. Got right back in it. Game 66 was definitely losing this one from the beginning. Right here, I could set up a checkmate, but my bishop, my bishop will have to go. Remember me! Early checkmate, game 67. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, phew, game 68 was bad. But you gotta know, I was really focusing for game 69. This is what matters. This was a long game. There were a lot of good moves and plays, but thankfully, near the end, I was able to force his queen into death. For obvious reasons, I really wanted to win game 69, and I'm glad I did. I mean, I already won game 69, so game 70 didn't even really matter, but I won that one too. <laughs> Quick win, game 71, because I am a better man. Wasn't recording game 72, but I got the win anyway. Game 73, the other players started very aggressively. They paid for it. In the end, I won. Win streak over game 74. This one was long and painful. I was cooked. Bishop opening got me the win game 75. They just didn't see it coming. Game 76, I won by timeout, but they would have lost if I had unlimited time. Game 77, I got that win. You gotta love when a pawn helps get the checkmate. I did this one for all the little pawns out there. Game 78, I was all up in the back row and then they resigned. I was winning game 79. Would probably win the whole thing, but the other player would just not leave my queen alone. So much so that it ended in a draw. Game 80, I got the other player's queen and they left. That reminds me of my time on Cool Math Games. Game 81, Black messed up bad. I was about to gank his rook. He left. Game 82 was a slow and painful defeat. Sometimes you just have them like that. In the end, I was just a king. Felt totally helpless and lost. Ah, oh, got my queen taken early, but I did not leave. I'm not like that. I lost, though. Game 84, I just blundered bad at the end. I was certain this move was going to give me checkmate. I probably should have looked at it harder, because after that, the other player won. Game 85, I just let this man set up a checkmate on me. In my defense, I was trying to set up a checkmate on him. He was just a little better. Game 86 went down to the very end. Just a few pieces against a few pieces. He had a rook, though. I probably should have got my king out from behind these three pawns. All it took was one rook play, and I was stuck in checkmate. Honestly, I didn't even really do that much. Game 87, I did take a bishop uncontested, but that's not that bad. They didn't have to leave. Game 88, I didn't even have a chance to leave after this massive blunder. I just died. I had no chance. I mean, look at that middle control, though. He deserved to win. Game 89, we traded queens early because Black was playing like a psychopath. I was just about to secure his rook when they left. Game 90, last 10. In these ones, I was definitely trying my hardest, even though I had already met my goal of winning more than I would lose. I've definitely become better at chess while doing this. Playing ranked games of anything will make you better. So not surprisingly, after a long battle game 90, I got the checkmate. Started off game 91 with an absolutely magnificent start. Put my queen into the middle and then took his rook. Then of course, once you're in that back row without a rook, you can just continue the slaughter. Took a knight, a bishop, everything. We traded queens, but I was already up by so much this game was over. In the end, he was just a king. And I had two queens, so you know how that one went. I had an absolutely awful start game 92, mostly because the other player was just good. He took a lot of my pieces, then we traded queens, so this game was looking like it was going to him. In the end, I was just a king, but didn't lose. Using my skill, I was able to bait the stalemate. I really don't know who won this game. As you can see by the board, it was just too close to call. This is obviously a draw. Game 93, after a pretty solid opening from both of us, the other player just decided to leave. And I took that as a win. It's almost over. Who cares? I'm a little embarrassed by game 94. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to say this. The other player, White, used the bishop opening against me and checkmated me in five moves. Yeah, I uh, really should have saw that one coming. Don't know why I didn't. I'm embarrassed. Then game 95, after taking a slight advantage, I just gave the other player my queen. Don't know why. Yeah, Black deserved to win after that one. Or did I deserve to lose? I'm not sure at this point. Game 96 was pretty standard, nothing too out of the ordinary, both fighting over the middle, that sort of thing. I decided to use my bishop to trade for a knight, figured he'd take with his pawn, but he moved his bishop up which obviously I took as well. I think they still could have won. I make mistakes all the time. It happens. Game 97, I really should have seen this coming as well. He was very telegraphed how he set up this backdoor checkmate. You can see him set up the bishop, 
set up his queen, and I did absolutely nothing to stop him. He put his covered queen right by my king, and that ended in my loss. I really could have stopped that if I was maybe just paying attention a little better. Yeah, game 98 too, it was just another tough one. Black took the early lead and did not let go. You know a game is going bad when your king is out in the open, and mine was out in the open from pretty much the very beginning. I was really trying to get a sneaky checkmate despite being down on pieces. You can see here I've got my queen and rook right by his king, but he had way more guys. It wasn't enough, and in the end, he won. Game 99 was a pure battle. I was gearing up for game 100, which I did not want to lose, so I was focusing 100%. I lost the early advantage, and I tried not to get myself down. I tried to just find a way to get that win, but then had a beautiful play. Used my bishop here to sneak his queen. I probably should have kept playing hard, though. I played a little sloppy once I was up a queen, and he started taking the lead back, but I focused in took more pieces, made smart moves, and in the end, won. Game 100 in all of my 100 series. This is the one where I show that I have at least somewhat improved over these 100 games, so I really wanted to win this one. I didn't exactly like starting as black, I just feel like I play better as white to get that first move, but we might still win this one. Thankfully, white went with the bishop's opening, and I know how to defend that for the most part. We both played very aggressive, taking a lot of each other's pieces in the early game. By the mid-game, I had a slight piece advantage, but no middle control, which was hurting me. I had a plan. It was gonna be a risk, but it was my plan. I wanted to pin his king with my king. I thought at this point it was the only thing that was gonna work. So going against my own advice, I moved my king through the middle of the map right next to his. Now if you look at this situation, his king can't move. All I have to do is put him in check, and White made the massive error of moving this pawn, allowing my bishop to do just that. White could block with a pawn, but that only brought him one more turn of life. That's checkmate. Winning game 100 felt really, really nice, I gotta say. After all of this chess, all of the battles, to go on and win game 100, I just felt like a champion. My final record was 59, 38, and 3, which... I don't know, it's pretty good. I beat my goal. I just wanted to win more games than I lost. Thank you, honorable ladies and lords, for watching my 100 games of chess.com. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Let me offer you one last chance to subscribe. Live your life in notability. Simply click my portrait on the screen. Go on, do it. At this time, I'd like to give great praise to all of my notable members. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate your time here. Make sure to stay notable. I will see you in the next video.